The pandemic and the stricter distancing measures are hurting many people's livelihoods, especially mom and pop store owners. The officials who met with the president today each explained how their ministries are going to help the most vulnerable. Um Ji Young shares with us what was discussed. To help the nation get through these trying times, the South Korean government pledged an additional supplementary budget worth more than 30 billion U.S. dollars. In Thursday's economic minister's meeting with President Moon, Finance Minister Hong nam -gi said he'll do everything possible to cushion the economic fallout from the pandemic by utilizing the supplementary budget. He said he'll expend the funds allotted for loans to vulnerable people up to $8.7 billion per year. Also, he said to stabilize consumer prices ahead of the Chuseok holiday, the government will import 100 million eggs in August and will continue to import them until prices stabilize. The minister of SME's Kwon Chil Sung also pledged to immediately provide recovery funds to some 1.3 million small business owners, 70 percent of those eligible, on August 17th. The rest will get theirs by September. He also promised a prompt rollout of loans in August to help people with poor credit. As for business compensation for the COVID-19 restrictions, he said the review committee mentioned by President Moon will hold its first meeting on October 8th, the day the related law takes effect. The committee will seek to have compensation paid as soon as October. At the meeting, the Minister of Employment and Labor, An Yong Dok, also said that by using the first and second supplementary budget, he'll swiftly carry out the government's projects to create jobs for young people in the field of new technologies. The Minister of Health and Welfare, Kwon Dok Chul, said he'll roll out funds of 100,000 won or about 90 U.S. dollars per person for people on low incomes. Also, he said he'll ease the qualifications for emergency welfare payments. Om Ji-young, Arirang News.